I never thought I would have an abortion. In fact, I hate admitting this, but I was always kind of self-righteous about it. This is really hard to say. But I'd always considered myself anti-abortion and even once did a prayer vigil with my church in front of Planned Parenthood. I'm not a bad person. I actually felt like I was doing the right thing. And then suddenly, I was the one facing a pregnancy I couldn't handle. I remember when I missed my period, I thought to myself, okay, Susan, I guess this is menopause. I mean, I kept meticulous track of my cycles so there would be no chance of pregnancy. So I thought. You see, my husband and I were struggling enough with our four kids. I mean, we adore them. Don't get me wrong. But I just didn't see how we could handle another. My husband got laid off from his job last year and my income barely covered the basics. We were behind on our rent and the bills were piling up, and I'm not just talking about money. Our youngest has autism, so he requires a lot of extra attention and medical care. I take him to therapy twice a week, and then there are all the teacher meetings, and we were barely holding it together and had no idea how we'd make it work with a fifth child. My husband and I prayed about this. For two weeks, I was in a battle with my conscience. And finally, after a lot of soul searching, we realized there was no way we could have another child. We knew where to go. My husband and I drove to Planned Parenthood, walked past the protesters, and hoped no one would recognize us. In the exam room, I saw all of this information about STD testing and birth control and cancer screenings I thought all Planned Parenthood did was abortions. The nurse answered our questions and walked us through our options, and we carefully made the final decision to end the pregnancy. I told the nurse, I never thought I would be in this position. I always said I couldn't do it. She said, you never really know how you'll handle a situation until you're actually in it. That it's a deeply personal and often complicated decision. She also said that most women who have abortions are already mothers, which surprised me. Having an abortion was the hardest thing I've ever done, but I did it for the four amazing kids I already have. The nurse understood that this was a difficult time for me. She said, it sounds like you're a really great mom, and you've done the best for your kids, and I'm glad we were here for you. Thank you.